Oh, hey guys. What's up? Man, it's been a long time. I hope this thing records okay. I'm not going to take too much time because this phone is, uh, wow, it's like freezing as it is. We'll see how this is. I'm just going to do this fast and uh, hopefully it turns out okay. So uh, it's a long time since I've done something like this. This is uh, uh, Jason Avocado's mukbang. So here you go. I made this for myself. This is from like basically all food bank stuff pretty much. Um, this is a pork sandwich and it's a pork tenderloin that we got from the food bank and uh, I put some relish on it. They had it. They gave us this fantastic relish um, at the food bank and I put that on there and I toasted up the bread uh, on in the oven uh, because we don't have a toaster. <laughs> and uh, I put uh, beer mustard on it, which I got at Quinn's recently for some sandwiches because we had so, some really wonderful person gave some money for a little food. So I went and got bologna and uh, some Cooper cheese with the cheapest stuff I could find. And I got some beer mustard for $2.15. And so that's on there. And uh, the bread is Italian. It's an Italian loaf sliced. Um, and I don't remember the brand. But the, the what, what this is, it's a pork tenderloin slice. And the way I'll start eating it. <clears throat> so let's see how first bite. Praise Jesus. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me get one more bite. Mm. People say I'm going to eat like a homeless man. I'm pretty hungry, so. Okay, so here's how you prepare it. If you want to have Reg, Rev's pork tenderloin slice sandwich. You need pork tenderloin slices. I don't know how much that runs, but they gave us like nine four-packs. It's amazing. Praise Jesus for food banks. Thank you, Christ in heaven. For churches that actually do like church stuff. <clears throat> you take another bite. Mm. You take your pork tenderloin slices. You only need one per sandwich. So however many sandwiches you're making, get that number of slices of pork tenderloin. Lay them out on either, a, I don't have a baking sheet, so I use a, a, a plate covered with aluminum foil. But if you have a baking sheet, it's way better. Line up your pieces in the baking sheet and then season them on one side. With everything bagel seasoning, please don't crash. Everything bagel, bagel seasoning coarse salt, like kosher salt or sea salt. Uh, and for me, I did mine in black pepper. Shani, I made Shani a patty, but she didn't want any of this stuff that I was doing. She just wanted the patty basically with uh, bagel seasoning on two pieces of bread. So that's what she's got. Mine, I wanted something a little more elaborate because I didn't eat all day, and I wanted to really enjoy it. So I've been really trying to fast, uh, increase my fasting because it's it. What else do you do? What else can you do? I'm being pretty calorie deficient, but I'm just trying my best to, you know, get some. So, enjoyably. <laughs> so, you season the one side of the patties with the with those seasonings. Everything bagel seasoning, uh, coarse uh, sea salt or or kosher salt. Or even better, pink Him Himalayan sea salt. That's the best because you're adding nutrients with that too. If you got that, use that. But I got sea salt. And uh, black pepper. Your favorite black pepper. Okay? Then take your hand, the palm of your hand, 
and just press the seasoning into the meat. Okay? Then, take your slices and flip them. Then season that. Do all the same seasoning again on that side. Now for, for mine, you take your beer mustard, your favorite mustard really, but mine is this. Badass. I, I don't know if this is local. No. Uh, Plotchman Incorporated M Mintail, Illinois. Phenomenal. And it was on sale for like $2.15. So I was like, yeah. French's was way more. This is phenomenal. Okay. So then you season them. Same way, pack the seasoning on the other side too. Then you take your beer mustard, get a tablespoon. Plop a thing, a, a tablespoon on all the pieces that you want this on it. The beer mustard. And spread them out on the top of the pat, the, your, your, uh, pork tenderloin patties. You're done. Put them in the oven 400 degrees for about 18 minutes. Or about, about 15 minutes, say. Especially with pork, you want to cook it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Fucking good. Then for the last, say, five minutes of cooking. Get your oven, if you got an old school one like me, it's a dial. Put it on high broil. Set it, set your setting to broil and hit high broil or 500 degrees, whatever the highest it goes to. Last about five, ten minutes in between there. Ten minutes it might be, you might get some brown, you might, you know, you might have some black meat on the top. I love that. Uh, do that. You're going to smell it. The like the spices. Uh, preferably to have garlic powder and onion powder, but I don't have that. Babel seasoning is enough, but it would be even better. Mm -hmm. At the end of your cooking time, you should have already had your bread slices in the oven. If you Real poor like me, and you can't even afford a fucking toaster. Okay? Toast up your bread. Get it nice and toasty. And at the end of your cooking time, of the pork slices, you line up your plates or whatever with your two pieces of bread for a sandwich. And you start to assemble. You just put your, your patty on your bread and put on the top, the top slice of bread, you put a nice slap. I like to take a fork. You could fork it or you could tablespoon it. Take a tablespoon and slap a tablespoon on the top piece of your bread of relish and spread that shit. And you got a toasty sandwich relish. It's almost like having a bratwurst. The flavor is bratwursty. And you really want to fulfill that if you have some sauerkraut, which is usually pretty cheap in a can. Take some sauerkraut, tablespoon it, throw that on there too. That'd be even better. Sauerkraut would be good on this. I wish there was a little bit more sweetness. I'd probably, I don't know. Mm. Those pork tenderloin pieces are really good, though. I think they're frozen from Wegmans. I think. Frozen Wegmans. Uh, 
pork loin. It's not a pork loin. It slices, though. Four slices per package. It's awesome, man, and they're so good. You throw them in the oven, man. And then if you have pasta or something, you want some pork pasta, you, sl you cut, cook, you just broil them, man. You can broil the shit out of them. Put them on 500 degrees and just broil the fuck out of them. And, but see, I'm always conscious. I like it. I don't like it fucking black. I don't like any meat black like that. Like, except like a steak that you get at fucking Price Chopper. Or something, I guess. I don't know. Steak is really good, though. If you broil it in the oven with butter. You take like, you take like two tablespoons of butter or so and put it on the top of the steak and kind of smear. And then you put, you fucking crank the oven and, and, and just cook that bastard and man, it, that can come out real tasting good. Holy shit. Anyway, this is Jason Avocado's mukbang. I have Dr. Pepper Zero in a Yoshi cup. And you might see me on Yoshi soon. I don't know about Shani, but I'm not sure. But you might see me on Yoshi soon. That was a good sandwich. Praise Jesus.